An intimate venue, always a fine place to take in a match, Vicarage Road. I'm Derek Ray, getting ready to bring you all the action, accompanied by my broadcasting partner, Stuart Robson. And we've got Premier League action coming right up. It's Watford up against Leeds United. Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I've played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. Well, he always has to be regarded as a dangerous opponent, so what should we expect to see from him in this game, Stuart? Well, Derek, his outstanding attribute is his pace, not just over the first few yards, but over longer distances as well, and that makes him so difficult to play against. Defenders are unsure whether to get tight or drop off a dynamic player. Crossing possibilities. Decent position. Couldn't grab hold of it. And there it is, a goal! I must say, much to the annoyance of the keeper. Well, here's the replay, and just look how close this is. May not have been given in my day, but the technology's certainly shown its worth here. And back underway, 1-0 it is. Good technique displayed. But nothing comes of it. Room to manoeuvre on the wing. Now a decent position. Is this the moment? Well, not a cross that will live long in the memory. Goal kick. Excellent refereeing, advantage in operation. Well, is it going to end up being productive for them? Must be! A goal! Real excitement, a back-and-forth type of game. Now they're level. Well, I have to say, this is a really good goal. Just look how well-balanced he is. He knows he's going to be under pressure, but he shows great composure to hit the target. So, a level contest. 1-1. One, one. Phillips. Oh, breezing past him. Oh, potential danger. An utterly disappointing cross. Goal kick. Not showing good defensive judgment. He takes aim. Terrific block. Adam Massina. Sizoko on to King. Crisp tackling. And they might be onto something. Just unable to take advantage of that developing situation. And the goalkeeper under no pressure. Stuart Dallas Phillips Jack Harrison has it a chance to whip it in and pull back oh fancy footwork well, not making life difficult for the keeper at all. A wide attempt. And in the perfect position to read it. Well, they know they need to stop him. 
the textbook interception. Oh, moving it nicely. Well, just centimetres over the bar with that powerful shot. on top of their opponents and winning it back cross could be useful well the clearance half-hearted and in the end no damage done the teams are ready to have a go at each other again as the second half commences Harrison opportunity in the wide area will he play it in Junior Firpo and can they make one of these passes count electing to cross into the centre the clearance wasn't decisive this might be ideal for the counter you certainly have got to give this man high marks for his work up to this point, Stuart. Well, I thought he had a very good first 45 minutes. He scored a good goal, was a constant threat and looked dangerous whenever he was on the ball. I'm sure he'd be the key player in the second half. Read it well. Can he put them ahead? Marvellous anticipation. Bad pass. Rafinha. And so 30 minutes left for play in this one. Phillips. Harrison. The ball with Junior Firpo here. Well, the defending needed to be a bit more switched on than that. And a fine cross. Taking care of business defensively here. Bodies forward and the break looks on. He's in behind. A goal! He's dispatched it. Much to the sheer delight of the fans. Well, let's look at this again, Derek, because the transition when the ball changes hands is so quick and the movement is good, making for a comfortable finish. It's a really great goal. So back underway. Intriguing contest, this, given the 2-1 scoreline. Definitely look as though they want to make this move count. Still a chance. Well, nothing untoward happened. Well, what a good piece of goalkeeping that was. But the equaliser can't be long in coming, surely. Cleef. Well, that's a well-timed pass. Well, not a million miles away from the equaliser. Well, he couldn't quite get it on target. But at least they're making chances now. Well, they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. Well, as you can see, Watford have found it difficult to control the game here. But when they have won it back in midfield areas, their counter-attacking has been excellent. They'll be happy with the way the game's going at Oh, the wait a minute, Stuart. Opportunity. There it is. Two to the good now. And that gives them a buffer. Well, he puts it away really well, as you can see. But you'd expect him to score from that range. But they all count. So on with the action. And 3-1 the scoreline at the moment.
Junior Firpo getting the better of his opponent and played to the front post well in fact a bit too close to the goalkeeper and that was always going to be claimed being pressed and pressed high Ozan Tufan well he could really get at the opposition can he get one back and with that they've thwarted the opportunity and time for the change now coming off the pitch number 15 Stuart Dallas to the baseline, number 19, Rodrigo. Kutska. Chances on. And it's there for him. And that's the hat-trick. Tearing apart this defence time and again. They simply can't handle him. Well, here's another look, and you can see what a good finish this is. He holds off the defender brilliantly and keeps his composure. That's a great goal. Goals in plentiful supply. 4-1 currently. And that will be that. It is now official, and it will go down as a positive result for Watford. How would you sum it up? Well, Derek, they were the better team 